Okay. Goldies and goodies here. Hey, uh, another five dollars in pennies. Hope you guys aren't missing me too much, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna keep making videos till I can get back online again. Um, they did a echocardiogram using treadmill type stuff, but I have. They didn't find nothing. My heart's just perfect. So, no blockages there, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to go through these pennies. And see where it leads me. See if I find anything good. I will try to make a nice 78. And it's still got some luster in it. Let's set it aside for now. That one looks like crap. 85. 2006. Some shield stuff. Junk. Junk. 89. I'm not going to bother looking at the uh, FG on it. I actually got tired of looking for them. But, you know, you never know that one might produce. But these are all customer app rows. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, my neighbor uh, passcoded his, uh, <laughs> uh, his Wi-Fi. So now I have to figure out how I can get. Uh, back on the internet. Well, that's what happens when you don't have a paycheck anymore. You don't have income coming in. It's kind of hard to do much. <laughs> it is what it is. But I'm just going to do these pennies. Anyways, the show must go on. And eventually in the future you'll see it. Not one good looking coin yet. Well, except for the 78. And it's really not as nice as the way I like to keep them. There's a 98. Yeah, it's got a close AM. Well, maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't. So, oh, getting back to the next row. And I am looking for errors or specific dates. Um, I, I always collect the 82s, zinc or uh, copper. And when I get enough of them, I'll go through them. That way I can scale them. Look to see if they got double dice. There's an 82 right there. We'll set that aside. 83 I should be looking at it, but when they look like that, it's not worth it. Let me see if you can see what I'm seeing. Probably not. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. If I get something real good, I'll put it on the scale, on the, uh, there's a 99. I'll put it on the, uh, can't even see it. That's how dark the coin is. 94. I'll put it on the scope so we can uh, geek out. As Chad would say on coins for amateurs, geek out. It's a nice 93D. Not nice enough to keep. Another 82. I said I go back through and look at the 82s. If it's a real nice 83, I'll keep it. But like I said, the zinc scents are just not worth it. Hey, we got our first wheat penny. 
1958. See, that's worth showing. There we go. 58. Of course, it's the last last year of the wheats. 88. Uh, 14, 97. Thing with jigger. So we got a wheat already, so that's cool. 77. That one's all corroded to, corroded to crap. Maybe I'll put this to music just to try to learn how to speed it up. It's going to take a lot of requirements of editing skills. For sure. Oh, 15. 1973. 85. What was this? There's an 82. <laughs> Large date. Large date has an error on it. On the we lucked out. We got one wheat penny. Last time we had five dollars, we only got one wheat penny. And that was the very last row. So, not much to write home about. All right, there's that. So I hope everybody's doing good uh, out there in the YouTube space. I'm uh, been watching. Uh, I watched all the James Bond series already. You know all the movies. I'm on the Stephen King novels now. Been watching that. Uh, I have a hard drive, big old terabyte of hard drive, with many many movies to watch. That keeps me busy since you, you know I don't have TV. 75, 80, yeah. shield sense, and yet, no 2019, maybe I'll be surprised, the other thing I look for is the estimate marks, yeah. all right, second week, in the same type of rows, to 45, we'll put it right there, 1945, well, that's cool, so far, so good. I don't see any error coins yet. Or I haven't found one yet. The last uh, $5, I ended up with a wide AM 2000 model, which is awesome. Here's a 2000 model. 2002. That's yeah, a close one. Corroded. Look how corroded that is. Yeah, let me get it up here. Yeah. Sorry if you're not seeing some of this, thing, but you'll see it before I do. It's up above you, up above me. I gotta reach out a little bit. So garbage, 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 garbage. Yeah, nice 87, but. Not worth keeping. 2007. So I'm happy. Two wheat pennies so far. No double bubble. Everybody wants a double bubble. <laughs> I remember when you used to be able to get 10 or 15 uh, wheat pennies in a row. Uh, even further back, I remember when you could get a whole row of wheat pennies. Oh, there's a Canadian. We'll set that aside. It's nothing to look at. It's, uh, uh, I'll tell you the date I can get my fingers off. I'm at 83. Anybody born in 83? Here's a 99. Got a wide AM? Nope. Yeah. I'll eventually find one. I don't go through thousands and thousands of boxes. Here's a Lincoln Log. Let's see if he has the extra index, extra finger. Let's see if I can. Huh. I can't 
tell from there. Let me get the loop out. Yeah, nothing there, but hey, it's a 2009. I might keep it. All right, last row of these style uh, rolls. Whoever rolled these up. These are actually uh, bank uh, bank rolls that com comes from a bank. This is what they roll them up in. These style. This style. <laughs> All right, so I know where they come from. Uh, just like mine, which is cool because I'm about the only one that has that style roll. Let me show you what I got. Right there. I bought a thousand of these from Amazon a couple years ago. You know, I haven't gone through them yet. I re roll everything that I can re roll, and then bank wrapped rolls, I have to use that. But just per se, I know if it's my pennies or not, for the most part, if I'm getting the same pennies back. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll get this in view. Move these up a little bit. Sixty eight D. Nope. 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 Not even worth looking at. Ninety five. Nope. Crap. Yeah, you can pretty much if you see it. Like <laughs> here's a ninety nine. I would say the zinc is coating is coming apart. That's a good thing that it's not a wide AM. There's an 83. On the 83, if you flip them top to bottom, it doesn't line up. Same with the 82s. Uh, that's an error. But if you get an 83 copper, now that's another story, you know. You'd have to weigh it, you know. 2.1, 1.6. It's a beautiful 2015, but I'm not keeping it. Now that's a nice 77. Let's see if I can get it in your view. Very nice 77. So we'll put that up here with this 75 or whatever it was. 61 garbage, garbage, garbage. 81 garbage. Like I said, if it was a 2019, you could tell right off the bat how shiny it is. You know, after a couple of years, then you can't tell, but overall. Alright, looks like just two wee pennies and four rolls so far. This is a 2000, kind of dark. And it's a close AM. Nope, no weak pennies in this one. See, that's a 78. That's what it was, it was a 78. Let's see the difference. Oh, that's an 82, where is it? Hmm. All right there, 78. We'll put that side by side with this one. This one looks a little better. It's got a lot of dings in it. We'll set it aside for now. Nope. Just talking, talking, talking. Nope. Well, it takes care of those rows. Now I got three more dollars of these other style rows. Uh, coin tainers. Buy them at Walmart. Cost you money. So apparently the person that's uh, rolling these up are probably not looking for stuff. They're just trying to roll the coins up. So we'll see what we got. I mean, it's cool because it's got the crease in like it was uh, rolled at the bank. Garbage, garbage. What's that, 82? Yep, that's an 82. Garbage, garbage. 
Well, the penny. So worth the penny. 75 is not too bad. It's got some highlights on it. I'm not keeping it. Not here is a junk collector. Money is money. So if it's not very collectible, not valued enough to give to somebody, that's a nasty 82. Definitely a zinc. Those are no good. That was no good. 2002. And like I said, they're corroded already. There's no sense of even looking at it. Like this one right here. I'm going to back the camera up a little bit. There. Maybe that'll help. 80. 76. But see the corroded right there? There's no sense of even looking at it. There's no way you can clean it. You already know it's zinc. This is a beautiful 99. Be even more beautiful. It had a white AM on it. If it doesn't. Uh, 90. That one. 71. I don't see any weeks in here yet. 68. Now there. Look at that beautiful 69D. How much you want to bet it's got a floating roof on it? Anybody want to bet? <laughs> if I put music to it, you probably won't hear me talking anyways. Because I am talking pretty low. There's an 83. Alright. Let's get down to the 69D. Let's look at the rooftop. Get the mouse. Get the mouse. Get it. <laughs> no, this one's just a beautiful coin. No floating roof and all that. It's a beautiful coin. Let me show you what I got. 69D. AU for sure. And then... BFG is there and the roof is there. Uh, that's a beautiful coin. We'll just we'll keep that one. Did you get the mouse? Look at this mouse that doesn't like the rain and wants to come in and visit. Of course my dogs they just like to play with it. Yep, of course I am. 91. 81. Ah. Smoke break. Get the mouse. I'll six scoop on him. Yeah, you're all funny games. Alright, we'll go here. Let's see what we got here. Some of these feel a little light. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to count them up and put back what it's supposed to have in it. But All right. There's that. Coming to here. Shield sets. What's that? Nope. Nope. Shield set. 63. So I'm glad I didn't take that bet. <laughs> but hey there's a 92D do you think we can get a close AM on this one that'd be amazing nope white AM beauty stop oh look at this beautiful coin that's a 63 very nice very red very A-U-B-U, -U, you know, very nice color to it. Don't know how many dings are in it. Uh, 77, 79, 2, Oh, 
2016 indeed it looks like crap alright we're still going here I'm pretty sure you can't hear me so I'm just gonna probably mix it with music if you do hear me here we go we got a Canadian that's a 1995 Canadian not a big deal still looking for my 2009 there's an 82 2014. There's a 98D. I don't think there's got anything on there for a white AM. Nope. I don't think they made white AMs on here. There's a 2009 sitting on the log again. And no extra fingers. But it's a nice shape to keep. Yeah, five dollars isn't too bad uh, to go through with 21 minutes. The problem is always ends up being freaking 40 minutes or so, almost an hour. I'm trying to cut that out. I really am trying to cut that out, but I don't have very good editing skills. And we still got four more rows to go, so let's keep on moving. See what we got here. So far, just two wheat pennies. A couple of beautiful, nice coins, older coins. Another Canadian. There's a 69D. And it's pretty brown. But it has the FG. And it does have a roof. So nothing wrong now. Yeah. Anyways, I went to my heart doctor today. And she told me there's nothing wrong with me. It's all in my head. Uh, no, she didn't say that. It's just that uh, they didn't find nothing. He said, my heart doesn't have any blockages going in or coming out. So said, I got a lot of allergy sinus problems. And then I need to see my vascular doctor. <laughs> Go figure. I had to tell the... I said, well, if you can find me one so I can get a second opinion. Because the first one pretty much said there's nothing wrong with me. Then I'll, and then I'll go and see them. I don't care. I want to get my. I want to go back to work. I want to start making money again. And it's just like they just don't seem to care. Even though they're doctors, they just don't seem to care. They got to do all these protocols and follow ups and stuff like that. And they have to watch out for what what they do. You know, if they make the wrong move and stuff. Oh, I understand that, but I've been trying for four, almost five years to get picks. That was a crappy 69. I'm not even going to look at it. Alright, looks like these are going to be bummers. I don't see no wheat pennies. I was thinking maybe, maybe... Somebody emptied their piggy bank. And nope. There's a 98. Of course I am. Oh well. Nope. D. Filled in D. 79D. That one's got crud on it. Ooh, I touched it. 80. 94, garbage, garbage, garbage. Three more rows to go, guys. Pushing 25 minutes. I wonder if I could keep my uh, recap smaller. 
I'm pretty sure it's still going to be about a 45 minute movie. But then again, I only found two wheat pennies, so it's really not. Probably not worth even showing. But who knows? Find some error coins. Is this what Lucky does? He just talks to himself. He thinks he's talking to somebody, but he's talking to himself. I'm kidding, Lucky. That's a crappy 82. I'm not keeping it. Most likely zinc 93D. They said a lot of these you can just get rid of. I mean, what would you want to do with that? If it's not a pretty good looking shield, then there's no sense even looking at that. Well, I mean, except for errors, but there's so much machine doubling out there. That's what you end up with. And it's, not, it's not a true double die, so. It's a nasty 76 G, 78, 78. I'll probably throw a 78s back in. 71. So far, no we can is an 82. That's copper. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Garbage. Like I said, when it's corroded like that, I'm not even going to look at them. Just a waste of time. Shoot, unless it looks mint. Like it's a 2019. I'm not going to look at them. I'm just going to push them to the side. With all the damage from water spots and everything else. Here's a shield. Not even good looking. Nope, nope, nope. And that's a shield 2017P. Nice looking 2017P. But I'm not keeping it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not giving you nothing to look at over here. Put that back up there. See what a beautiful 63 looks like. Now, Rich Cali, he's uh, he was doing a trade. You guys wanted to trade with him of his BU rolls and stuff or coins or I don't know, some type of sale, whatever. Rich Cali, and he's been collecting for years and years and years. I got nothing left to trade. If I trade anything, it's got to come out of my book, and I'm not into completely dismantling my collection to do trades now. So, garbage, garbage, garbage. We're not looking at it. Corroded, corroded, corroded. See how easy it is to get rid of pennies? Now, that's a copper. But it's a buried copper. It could have been a wheat penny, but it wasn't. Huh. This is a 2009. Look how crappy this one is. <laughs> like in sitting on a log. And that's probably got an error in it, right? That's not worth, worth keeping. This is, what's this? 64D. That one's garbage. That shield set got all scratched up. The other thing about looking for errors, if you're looking for, where, uh, I might keep that one, 75. Um, you can find lamination peels, there's an 82. Like I said, I won't go through the 82s. This is a 2009, sitting on the log. And nope, don't see nothing. So, so far we got like four 2009s. One, uh, the fifth one, I turned back in. Because <laughs> it's, oh yeah, it's nasty. There's a 98. It's not beautiful, but it's a close AM. It's corroded. And you're going to, like I said, that's what you're going to find in these pennies are corroded. Whether it's from moisture, whether it's from handling, people touching them, 
on the wrong places. This is a 70 small date. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep it. I have to think about it. Thousand three. Ninety six. What's this one? Nope. Nope. Corroded. And being that we live in uh, New York, it's always moisture here. It hasn't stopped raining all freaking week. I did get out metal detecting. And of course, that'll probably be the video I put up before this. For like, you know, on and off for four days. Not, not a very long period. And I didn't find anything but garbage. I got a quarter and two dimes. And a corroded zinc penny. Nothing left to it. But it is what it is. Alright, why can't I get that open? Alright. Got a flap that won't cooperate. Alright, last row. Looks like we had two wee pennies instead of one this time. And I don't, <laughs> yeah, look at that crap right there. Let me get it close to you. <laughs> road rash, road rage, zinc, corroded, 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 corroded. It says it's nice when they come out brand new and you can get them then, but even then, there's a 70 that's all freaking tainted. 89, 12, 13, a nice 83. Nope, 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 A lot of shield sense in this stuff, you know. And every year it's going to get more and more shield sense. What's that? 90. 93 beauty stop 75 not worth anything. there we go 98 close I am not worth anything shield set this one's crap this one's definitely no good 93 yeah that's all you're gonna see so apparently these other rows didn't pan out as much as I thought it would be the 2000 close I am you really don't need to spend a lot of time trying to eyeball. You know, you put your glasses on, use your scope if you have one, get your loop out. There's another 2,000. And look for the errors that you that you know. That'll worth a couple bucks. But, no, well, that's it. 62. That's another 2,000. Even though it's crappy, I want to look at it. Nope. Normally, I just shrug it to the side when I see it crappy like that. Nothing. So, you have it, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, five dollars and two wheat pennies. That's it. Uh, I think four. 2009, they were all Lincoln sitting on the log, no errors. Couple real nice coins at 60. 63 was real nice. This one was real nice. 69D, there was no errors on that. And then you got some uh, Canadian. Alright, two, three, three Canadians. Yep, yep, three Canadians. No. Whenever you can pull coins out, like you might, might be able to give to somebody else, or you might be able to use in a book, or use into another book that you might start making. Save them out, especially if they're really nice, like these these two coins here, uh, because that makes beautiful fillers. 
I mean, you figure 69 is 2019. What's that, 60 years ago? Uh, I'm, I'm just guessing 40. Uh, all right, whatever. 60 years ago, that coin was in mint, and it's still a nice mint shape or AU shape. Definitely came out of somebody's piggy bank. So there you have it, guys. Um, I'm going to do the outro and try to um, shorten it up a little bit. It's 35 minutes, which isn't too bad. But you get the gist of it. Odie's out.